Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified and in this video we will learn how to use virtual calculator which will which you will be using in your gate exam. As you can see here, this is the same calculator that you will be using in your gate 2017 examination. So let's get started. First, we will start with the mod, mod function, which is nothing but suppose you divide an, another number, then the reminder is the mod. That is, if we divide 5 by 2, then the reminder is 1. Nothing but uh, 5 can be written as 2 times 2 plus 1. We get this value as the result if we use mod function. So let us try. First of all, we have to enter the first value that is 5. Okay. Then hit the mod button. Okay. Now hit the second value that is 2. Hit equal sign. So we got the value as 1. This is how we use mod function. And these are the hyperbolic functions and you can uh, toggle between degrees and radians here. If you choose the button, radio button as degree, then you are uh, using the calculator in terms of degrees, else you can ch choose radians. So how to use sin h function? Suppose let us say, first of all, we, we must write the value that is, so let's say 2.17 and then press sin h okay this is nothing but sin h of 2.17 first of all enter this value this constant then press the sin h button okay you can also see here that this is d which means in degrees if you change this degrees to radians and press and press clear and write 2.17 sin h, you can see r here, which means this is in radians. As you can see in the second row, these are inverse hyperbolic functions. So let's, uh, uh, let's write the value, let's clear, clear this out and let's write 4.322 sin inverse h which is 2.16 approximately equals 2.17 this is the way to use first of all we must enter the value then we must enter the function key okay and uh, clear this next we also have the pi constant if you press the pi you get the value of pi that is 3.14 and so on the other terms you also have the constant e which is 2.718 and so on now, in the similar manner, uh, as we have used the hyperbolic functions, we can use the trigonometric functions that is sine, cos and tan. Let's say uh, we want, we want uh, sine 90. Then what you have to do is, first of all, enter this 90 value, then press this sine button. Okay, let's try this. First clear this out, press 90 and then press this sign button which is 1. You can also see here that this is in degrees. If we change this to radians then clear this sign 90. Now first of all enter 90 then hit the sign button. This is the value in radians. Okay. Similarly you can do these with sign, cos and tan and these are the inverse functions. Suppose uh, if we want the inverse of sine inverse 1, then first of all enter the 1 value, then sine inverse. Okay, let's try this. Before entering any new value, it is better to first clear everything. This button clears everything. Okay, clear. Then enter 1, then press sine inverse. Okay, we got 90. You can also notice here that uh, we get a sine. This d means it is in degrees. And what about this a here? It is just to differentiate between this sine and sine inverse. That's it. If you have an a here, then it means an inverse sine function. If you don't have an a, suppose uh, in the like in the previous, 
we enter 90 okay 90 and press sign we don't have an a here so this means this is the general sign function so moving on to the next key uh, what do we have we have factorial to get the value of uh, some factorial say 3 factorial which is 6 all you have to do is press the value 3 okay 3 and then press the n factorial button the moment you you press this button you get the value as the result here and this box here is the result box and this box tells you what you have entered what is the calculator value here we are finding the factorial of 3 and this is the result now moving on to the next function which is exponent exponent is nothing but suppose you have 2 into 10 power 3 or 5 into 10 power 9 then how can you do this is just press this 2 value first first of all clear this 2 and press exponent button exp button then press this uh, exponent value that is 3 3 then press equal sign 2000 this equals 2000 and how do we do this first clear this out press 5 then exponent then 9 value okay then press equals which is 5 followed by 9 zeros next we will look at parenthesis this these buttons what they do is suppose you have an expression like this 3 plus 1 into 4 plus 3 to represent this uh, in in our virtual calculator we use the we take the help of parenthesis so first type the first press the left parenthesis button first of all clear this then press left parenthesis then type this number 3 press this 3 plus 1 and close the parenthesis we got this value 3 plus 1 is 4 we got the first uh, uh, value in first parenthesis then press the star for multiplication then open another parenthesis or left parenthesis 4 uh, plus 3 and close the parenthesis you might be wondering this this is the result but in fact this result belongs only to the only to this parent value of this parenthesis so to get the correct result plus equals this is the right value don't ever forget to plus equals after you type complete typing or after you complete uh, pressing the keys next let's see the log functions uh, let's see this log function which is a base 2 suppose we want log 8 base 2 which is 3 what we all we have to do is first of all press this 8 8 button 8 and then press this log x base 2 button we got the right answer and now if we want uh, natural logarithm that is log n log uh, e which is base e then all you have to do is press the number say 1 2.17 then press this natural log we got the answer as 2.774727 uh, let's clear this out and see let's see what is the value of natural log of e so press e then press natural log we got the one as answer okay next this log here means it is base 10 log means log base 10 so let's find the value of log thousand base 10 which is nothing but 3 so first of all clear this then press thousand then press this log so we got the right answer as 3 now a confusing button on this virtual calculator is this one okay so listen to this carefully this means suppose we want log 32 base 2 okay which is nothing but 
5 all you have to do is first of all enter this value this is first enter this value this is nothing but x okay next you have to enter the log this is 2 first enter this value then press this log x base y button and the third thing that you have to do is enter the base value this is third thing that you have to do okay remember this the first thing enter x the second thing press log x base y button and the third step is enter y which is nothing but base okay let's try this now all what do we want 32 first clear this out 32 second step is press log x base y button log x base y and now we have to press the base value which is 2 2 equals 5 so this is the way uh, how to to make to get the value of log x base y next let us see the e power x value which is nothing but 2.17 that value power x uh, to do that press the x value first and then press e that's it you'll get it and this is 10 power x which is nothing but 10 power 4 10 power 5 10 power 12 something like that all you have to do is first press uh, enter the x value which is let's say 5 then press 10 power x okay one followed by five zeros next what do we have here we have x power y okay x power y suppose we say 9 power 3 how do we enter this same as the previous one this value 9 is x this value is y and the first step is first step is enter the x value second step is enter the uh, x power y button and the third step is enter the y value so let's see how we can do that first first what you have to do we have to do we have to enter the x value which is 9 here 9 then the second step is press this button x power y and then enter the y value which is 3 equals 729 that is the result desired result that we want <clears throat> and you can also do x cube which is enter the first x uh, x value then press this that's it x square also press 5 and press this x square button which is nothing but 25 we also have this uh, nth uh, yth root of x which is nothing but let me clear this out y root of x suppose we have a number 32 and we have to find fifth root of 32 this is in the in the form of y root over x so all we have to do is first thing to do is enter the x value second thing as usual enter press this button uh, y root of x button press this button and uh, third step is enter the y value all right so let's do the do this one first enter the y uh, x value which is 32 then press this button then press the y value which is 5 press equals we got the value of 2 2 as the answer we also have the cube root button which means it finds the cube root of a number such as if we want to find the cube root of a number 27 then hit 27 then press this button that's all you will get the cube root of 27 clear this and type 729 cube root of this is 9 this is pretty easy next we can have the mod value say minus 9 mod value is 9 which gives the absolute value okay minus 30 then uh, we press this value 
to get minus 30 absolute value of this is 30 okay next uh, this is percentage we have we, we can calculate percentage with this suppose let's say we want to find 25 percentage of 50 all you have to do is first enter this 25 so let's enter the 25 here 25 then press the percentage uh, button okay then press this 50 50 equals 12.5 that is the right answer the quarter part of 50 is 12.5 and next what do we have here we have reciprocal that is uh, if we enter a value then we want to find the reciprocal of it say 25 and press this this is the right answer uh, also 2 1 by 2 is 0.5 next let us see an interesting concept here which is what are these buttons these buttons uh, think of it like this there is a memory in the calculator this is a memory and by pressing these buttons we can manipulate anything which is present here so how do we do that is first of all uh, clear this this mc means memory clear which deletes everything in this memory mr means memory recall it displays what is in this memory stored what is stored in this memory ms means memory store if we want to store something into the memory we press this button and i'll tell what these buttons are in a short while so let's say press 9 and press ms which means memory save you can see here we got an m uh, letter here which means we are using the memory what happened is what happened is uh, this 9 value gets stored into the memory all right uh, if you want to verify whether this is stored in the memory or not just press press clear and press mr which means memory recall you get the 9 value now what you can do with this is uh, suppose you want to you want to subtract 3 from this number just press 3 and press m minus okay all after you press m minus what happens is the 3 subtracted from this and the result becomes 6 if you want to see the result uh, pre plus press clear okay and then press memory recall mr we got the 6 number the display doesn't get updated the moment you press this you have to press memory recall to see the updated result in the same way you can uh, add a number to this memory let's say if you want to add 2 to 6 press uh, clear this and press 2 and press m plus okay now to see the value clear mr 2 plus 6 is 8 now if you want to clear this memory all you need to do is press mc which means it memory clear okay press this uh, the moment you press this this m icon goes goes away and the memory gets cleared to know that uh, press mr no effect nothing is stored in the memory so that's all for this video guys if you find it useful share it with your friends for more updates subscribe to my channel See you next time. Until then, happy learning.